Welcome to my mini farm. Where I live in the country, I'm so lucky to be able to have an awesome hydroponic garden and loving animals that I raise. I just love my animals. They are a huge part of my family's life. Every morning I can't wait to see how many eggs I can gather up, how many vegetables and herbs I can pick. With my family's favorite recipes and my home cooking skills, I enjoy sharing what I've learned over the years with you. I'm also part of iFood.TV Networks. New shows every Wednesday. So welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and for Memorial Day what I'm going to show you is how I make my chocolate chip marshmallow cookies. These cookies are really, really good. We're going to a barbecue and I'm making dessert so I figured I'd make a little treat for the kids. These chocolate chip cookies got the marshmallow inside so it's going to be a real surprise when these kids bite into them. And they're so good, so chocolatey. So let's get started. So today what I'm going to show you is my chocolate chip marshmallow cookies. I have three cups of flour that I'll sift into the bowl in front of me. To this I'll be adding in two-thirds cup of the unsweetened cocoa powder. along with a half a teaspoon of baking powder and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So there's three cups of flour. Now I'll take my two-thirds cup of unsweetened cocoa powder half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. These cookies are so good. Nice and chocolatey. Trying to get all the lumps of the chocolate out. Now I'll place that off to the side. In another bowl I have one stick of butter at room temperature or eight tablespoons. I'll cream my butter with my one cup of white sugar and my one cup of brown, one cup of brown sugar. So that's one stick of butter at room temperature, one cup of white sugar, and one cup of packed brown sugar. My butter mixed in with my sugars. I have two eggs. I'll drop them in one at a time and mix it in. I have my oven preheated at 350. Second 
that's what it would look like. So that's one stick of butter at room temperature, one cup of white sugar, and one cup of packed brown sugar, and two eggs. The eggs I also had at room temperature as well. Do this, I'm going to fold in two cups of the semi-morsels. And a vanilla extract. I forgot to add it in earlier. So I'll just fold it in. Make sure to mix it good. That's what it looks like. Now I'll add in the dry ingredients a little at a time. I'm folding it in. These cookies are really, really good. And we're having a barbecue today. It's Memorial Day, so I'm making cookies. This will be a nice treat. Add in a little bit more. Switch it to the larger bowl. And I'll just mix the rest. Now that I have my dough all mixed, what I did is I took an ice cream scoop so that all the cookies were uniform. I'll cover this with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes or until the dough is nice and firm. Once it's firmed, I'll remove it from my refrigerator. Also, too, when you have your oven preheated at 350, I have two cups of the mini marshmallows, and I place them in the freezer. So you'll need two cups of the mini marshmallows to do the rest of these cookies. So now that I have my cookies all formed, I'm going to place them in my fridge until they're firm. Like I said, 30 minutes. Or depending on your refrigerator, you want to make sure that the dough is nice and firm. This recipe will make about 24 cookies. It's been 30 minutes, now I'll take my cookies out of the fridge. The dough firmed up beautifully. So now I have my cookie sheet. My oven set at 350. I'll line my cookie sheet with parchment paper. I'll go get my two cups of mini marshmallows out of the freezer. You can see how nice and firm that is. So 
So what I'll show you is I'm going to flatten out the cookie, flatten it with my palm, and I'll place some marshmallows in the center of my cookie. I have about eight of them. Now I'll take the cookie dough and come around the marshmallow so that the marshmallow is on the inside. And you can see how the cookie looks. So I'll place it on my parchment paper and I'll do the rest with the rest of these cookies. So just flatten it out with your palm. Don't go too hard because remember you've got the chocolate morsels in there. And place how many marshmallows you want inside your cookie. And then roll up the dough. Here's the bottom and the top. And I'll place that on my parchment paper. And just continue with the rest. You'll bake them between 8 to 10 minutes. Remember, ovens vary, so just keep an eye on it. And like I said, this recipe will make 24 cookies. So you can see I have the marshmallows all rolled up inside the cookie dough. So now I'll place this in my 350 degree oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. But keep an eye on it because remember ovens vary. The ingredients that you'll need are three cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of sugar, one cup of brown sugar, two eggs at room temperature, two cups of the mini morsels or the chocolate morsels, one fourth teaspoon of salt, two thirds cup of the unsweetened cocoa powder, one cup of butter at room temperature or eight tablespoons, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, in about two cups of the mini marshmallows. You'll preheat your oven to 350. You'll line your baking pans with the parchment paper. Once the dough is all formed, you'll place that in your fridge for about 30 minutes because you want the dough to be nice and firm. And I used an ice cream scoop to make the cookie dough balls all the same size. Then you'll place it in your oven on 350 and like I said, 8 to 10 minutes and then let it cool and these cookies are really, really good. So happy Memorial Day! So now I'll take my cookies out of the oven. Oh yeah, look at how good they came out. So now I'll let them cool before I even try them and pack them up for my barbecue. These cookies are really, really good.
Thanks so much for tuning in to Home Cooking with Cheryl and watching me make my chocolate chip marshmallow cookies. They're really, really good. Give them a try. And happy Memorial Day. And please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, and on iFood.tv. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.